of the fundamental macroeconomic picture do you involve in your analysis? Not, not very much. I'm e interested in macroeconomics, and I, I have to say that I find what the time that we're going through at the moment completely baffling. I don't understand at all, and I don't think anybody else does really exactly what's going on in the economy. I don't understand how quantitative easing can't eventually create inflation, and yet nobody's worrying about inflation. Everybody's worried about deflation. But in term, I'm interested in it. I follow it with curiosity, like a sort of good book. I can't wait to see how it's all going to end. But in terms of making decisions on individual stocks, um, one's aware of the economic backdrop and the interest rate environment, etc. But it doesn't really come into my thinking. I mean, in a, in a, in a market that's going up, there's, there are always things to short, just as in when the market's going down, there's always some good value to, to buy. So I don't really look at um, what the stock market is doing. I mean, I obviously am aware of it, but in, in making decisions on whether to buy or sell short of stock, it's not really a consideration. I'm far more specific on actual events and actual companies. Okay. Um, so what, what are the building blocks of your trading approach in terms of macro? And are there times when it's, when it's literally just a gut instinct? And how... As an aside, how do you describe what a gut instinct is to you? You know, what is, how is that learned? I find you can uh, understand a lot by reading financial statements of companies. I don't mean poring over the account so much as um, how a company presents itself, uh, how the management write on news announcements of either good or bad news. Um, and you can, you can, when they say gut instinct, you can pick up a lot by just reading, for instance, a company's description on its website of what it does, the way that it dresses up, it may dress up bad news as good news, the way that if there's bad news, that it's sometimes buried into sort of paragraph five. Um, the, 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 after years of reading statements like that, there, you get, you get to, to have a sort of gut feel if something is wrong on a company, if they're trying to hide something, if they're trying to brush something under the carpet. And, and, and again, it's not something you can really teach, it's just experience from reading these announcements day after day. You, you, you start to get the tone of them because you build up a history or a sort of uh, a database in your mind of, of companies that have failed and, and, and what they were saying in the, in the months and years before they failed. There's a pattern often. And that is a, a sort of, you can only really learn by experience and gut, gut instinct. 